What's going on, guys? It's Stam. Today we were going to do a Wi-Fi battle, but I didn't really have time to edit one of those. So we are back with probably the only third, third OU live on this new channel ever. But we're using a very cool team today, and here it is. Uh, my boy Envy is doing a uh, team fixing series. So we got lots of cool teams to play with, and leading off the new, I guess, revival showdown lives on the channel will be the uh, Mega Pidgeot team we have here, Stallbreaker Mega Pidgeot with Workup. Really, really cool. A lot of teams in OU are not actually prepared for this mod, just because it's not used a lot. We do refresh to get rid of status, so that's kind of cool. Choice Scarf, Baryon Z. Um, pretty much our only way of dealing with fast threats such as the Lotties and Gengar, and I think the Latias can even take a Choice Scarf Ice Beam, which is kind of bad, but... Next we got Defensive Landers with Stealth Rock, um, because of our two main sweepers being Mega Pidgeot that you've already seen and Volcarona, um, really cool offensive core, but um, they are a little bit weak in the, at least Mega Pidgeot was, but uh, Stealth Rock says, slash Hazards help them out quite a bit. Um, we do have Rocky Helmet, um, Defensive Landers, which is a pretty cool set that I've really liked using recently. We have 8 in speed to outspeed other Landos and get off a nice little uh, stone edge on them and whatever. But Defensive Tentacruel, pretty self-explanatory. Nice Rapid Spinner, some Scald, some Acid Spray to lower the special defense of some pretty annoying mons, mainly Latias. And we have Toxic to spread some status. Uh, we have Ferrothorn here, Gyro Brip, Power Ball, uh, I think I screwed those up, Gyro Ball and Power Whip to deal mainly with Keldeo, and then we have Spikes and Leech Seed just to gain some uh, extra residual damage on things, and then last we are for our Volcarona, really cool Volcarona set, we do have Giga Drain and Hidden Power Ground for Heatran, uh, Giga Drain for Keldeo, uh, occasionally I do get annoyed and would rather have Bug Buzz to deal with the Lotties, but... Um, we can't all be winners, and then we have Lumberry here to go ahead and get rid of status. Most Heatran, when this thing's in on, like to try and go for Toxic, which is just a free Quiver Dance, and at plus two, um, Vulcan Runner pretty much sweeps most teams. Um, I do have some experience playing with this team, so it was really fun. I really wanted to show it off to you guys. Anyway, uh, we, the ladder did reset, so we don't have that many points, but I guess we can go ahead and get a couple games. Not really a long live today, um, but... We should be able to get three, maybe four battles. Um, the nicknames aren't mine, and hopefully, because I left them on here, he doesn't know that this is a team that Envy fixed. But, uh, yeah, we have a first game against Sand Offense, probably Zardex, and then nice regenerate core between Reuniclus, not Reuniclus, uh, Tornadus T and Amoongus. Um, if we get a Raikou, a Mega Pidgeot, slash Volcarona pretty much destroys his team, I'm pretty sure... If we get rid of Torn, we pretty much get a Vulgar Ona sweep. Anyway, I'm just going to leave off a Landris. He doesn't really have anything that wants to deal with it. Bar HP, I send us Raikou. And if that's the case, we can actually just switch into Ferrothorn. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off my Landris. He leaves off that Raikou. And here I can go ahead and just pull a switch into Hitman, the Ferrothorn. And we should be able to eat up. Whatever he wants to go for, plus we can probably see uh, what kind of Raikou this is. Um, based on his team, it could be, it probably is not AV Raikou, and he's actually going to pull a switch out into Ferrothorn, predicting that nicely. Um, I'm actually just going to scout for the Heat Wave. Yeah, I'm going to scout for the Heat Wave. He could go for Hurricane here, but I don't think he will. I think he will actually U-turn predicting a switch into uh oh he actually goes for the heat wave which is fine because we can actually fire off a toxic barring a to come in which is why i'm gonna actually just go for a scald um yeah i think he would bring in Amoongus predicting toxic so scald hits everything on his team if we get a burnout raiko that kind of limits the longevity um it'll probably do a lot to exit row barring a special defensive variant so Really nice here. He is debating this play quite a bit. If we get a burn on this instead of Toxic, I'm fine with that. Toxic would be a little better just to negate the uh, Regenerator a little bit, but any status we can get on Tornadus is good. So he is going to U-turn out, um, so probably a very nice uh, 
play here to just go straight for the toxic. He goes into a Moogus and we get the burn. That's actually very good. Um, Moogus is not too big a threat to our team just because he can't really spore anything safely because Theraform comes in every time on that anyway, barring like a random HP fire variant. He actually goes out to Exedrill and we do not score a burn, but it does over half and we can actually just go straight out into Landris. He is going to get up his rocks if he wants to, but again, he can't really do anything to us. Outside of that, uh, if it's a random knockoff area, I guess that could be bad, but that's fine. We did over half to that extra drill, meaning that it is definitely a sand offense variant. And yeah, we should be okay here. Um, if he, if should he take a long time, we're just going to pause it until he makes a move, and I think I'm actually going to do that, so I will be right back, guys. And we're back. I went out to... Are we recording? Yes, we are. Uh, I went out to Landris on the thing. Now, he could just go out to, like, Ryko again, so I'm going to get him my Stealth Rock. I'm going to get my Stealth Rock as he goes out to Charizard, and I believe I'm just going to go for the Stone Edge. Safest play we have. If he wants to not Mega and DD, that's fine. If he ends up being Zard Y, which is unfortunate, but he misses a Fire Blast, and we, course, we score the KO. <laughs> not bad. Look at that hacks in our favor. I don't know why he has Driller on a... I guess dual weather makes sense, but... Interesting. He doesn't really... Unless he has, like... Unless maybe he does have HP Fire and Amoongus just because it would power up in the, uh... In the sun, but... Dual weather with, uh... Zard Y and Tyranitar. I guess I kind of like that. You usually see Zard X on... Uh, sand teams though so he goes into Raikou uh, he probably is going to go for the Thunderbolt predicting the the uh, what do you call it the Tentacruel to come in so I'm, I am just going to go for the uh, Ferrothorn switch and I can get up a I'm going to power it predicting him to go into Exedrill predicting me to set up a spike uh, if he wants to go into Tornadus and Heat Wave, that could be bad. Which is why I'm actually going for Leech Seed instead. I can get him my rocks again. He actually goes out to Torn. Hopefully, yes, we are able to land Leech Seed on this. And I think he will just fire off a uh, Heat Wave. Which is why Tentacruel is, again, pretty safe. Yeah, if we get rid of... At this point, if we get rid of Amoongus... Um, not among just, but if we get rid of Raikou, we can sweep him with Pidgeot plus, uh... Alright, so he goes out to Amoongus as we go out to our Tentacruel. Now, we are faster, and I think I am just gonna pull a double back into... I don't really want this to spore. Granted, we pressured his extra drill enough to, uh, the point where he can't exactly... And this is a spike, so... We pressured his exit drill to the point where, as you'll see, he does actually have the HP fire, but that doesn't really do anything. So, um, here I'm going to power it, predicting him to go out to his exit drill, which he didn't actually do, which is fine. Um, probably is going to go for the heat wave here, more than likely. So, I'm actually just going to go safely out to Tentacruel. Tentacruel is walling him, so he actually goes for Hurricane there, which is fine. Uh, here. I'm going to click Scald. If he wants to go back into his, uh, if he wants to go back into his, uh, Amoongus, that'll be fine. If he gets a Burn on Raikou, that if we get a Burn on Raikou, that will be fine as well. Uh, we actually land a Burn on Tornadus, so I am going to Scald again. I'm not really worried about the. Tentacru I'm not really worried about the Hurricane, as you see here. He is a. Um, Assault this area, so that won't do very much damage at all. And my safest play, based on what he has left, is to go for a Scald one more time. Uh, that didn't do anything, and then even if that didn't kill... The only problem is he kind of spins for free if he wants to. Um, because I'm not Spideff... 
I don't really want to go for the HP Ice, but at the same time, he could Volt Switch. So, well, he could Volt Switch into his Extra Drill and get pretty, a uh, pretty good amount of damage off. So I'm actually going to stay in and Scald. Plus, I've gone to my Ferrothorn every time, so which is why I think that again Volt Switch is probably the play. I don't think because of my natural bulk I'll die to a non-choice based variant. He actually goes to extra sentry and I am gonna get off a scald here. I do not land a burn, but here we will see if he is indeed a scar um a choice specs variant or not. And he I am gonna just go for the power whip I think. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the power whip as he goes out to Mungus um, that's fine. If he wants to go, he has actually Rocky Helmet, but, uh, if he wants to go, he goes out to his Tyranitar now, which is, I guess, okay. I am going to set up a spike. And that Exadrill is at 37, which I think means if I go for Spike again, he will die. More than likely. Let's see, that's 5, uh, 12, well, maybe not. He won't die, but it'll pressure him to have to go for the, um, and as you'll see there, I do live another crunch. So I'm going to go for a power whip here. And I do hit it, and Tyranitar goes down. So, I guess at this range of health, I pressure him to spin with his... To spin with his extra drill, but he actually just forfeits. At that range, the Raikou would have gone down, and the Amoongus would have been taken care of by Volcarona. So that's a good first game. Um, we can go ahead and get another one. Number two of the nice life here. Uh, this is pretty heat. Uh, as you see here, this is Tauros. His team actually just loses to Volcarona, I think. Yeah. Um, really no reason not to lead off with... Well, he's probably going to lead off with his Garchomp, I would think. Garchomp or Hippo. I can get rocks against Hippo, so I'm not too worried about that. Hit him up with that timer. And we will pause until he makes a selection here. So, beer. So he chose to lead off with his Clefable. Uh, I do get rocks in his Clefable, so that's fine. He sets up a Calm Mind. Um, potentially dangerous. potentially really bad actually and this guy is acting butter but uh This is probably not a good play, but uh, we're going to try to do it this way anyway. We get a spatak drop, which is kind of bad, but I can just keep pressuring him to have to go for a... Well, he wants to do that, so that's fine. And we get rid of the Clefable. So that was a poor play on his part. Um, now he has no thing to basically defend against Pidgeot. Um, I think we get Toxic this Garchomp, actually. 
unless he's faster. So I think the better play is to go out to our uh, address here. As he goes straight for the earthquake. Um, that's fine. And he's going to forfeit, so we can get another game. Uh, he was talking shit, and he got kicked in the face. So, <laughs> game number three. Interesting team. We got a UU team plus a Starmie and a... Actually, I'm um, expecting that to be Mega Absol. So, it's probably not a good idea to lead off with uh, the... <laughs> but actually... We can lead off with our Volcarona. Yeah, we can lead off with Volcarona. As he leads off with Haxorus. Um, I am just going to go out to my Landris, actually, because the problem with this is if he's like a random, he just goes for Earthquake, that's fine. Uh, we can't get up our Stealth Rocks because Absol's not Mega Evolved, and I think he's only... His Rapid Spear is Starmie. Uh, he could go for that spin now, so we're just going to go out to our um, Ferrothorn as he goes for Ice Beam. He does not get the Freeze, and we can pretty much power up against this thing, I think. Yeah, let's do it. I switch into Power Whip is his Volcarona, or his own Ferrothorn. I completely forgot he had that for a second. Luckily, we do miss. Um, here, we have no reason not to go out to our... And no reason not to go out to Volcarona, actually. Because I can Quiver Dance up on this, depending if he has Lead C or not. He actually goes for Rocks, which is fine. And I can Quiver Dance once and outspeed his entire team, barring Sucker Punch from Absol. But, alright, so he goes out to Starmie. Um, if he's defensive, he can take a Giga Drain. Which is why I'm going to go for Quiver Dance again. He actually Scalds. Which doesn't do anything. So here I'm going to Giga Drain. And we just knock out Starmie pretty easily. And we get back up to full. Um, this is a problem for him. Because Fire Blast nukes his whole team. Uh, he goes out to Azu. As I'm just going to Giga Drain again. I should be able to take one Aqua Jet. I do land the burn. Which is great. Which means after Giga Drain. We won't be able to... Uh, he won't be able to knock us out. So, all right. So we get rid of two big threats, and I believe the problem is we might be in sucker punch range for Absol. He's gonna go for Absol now. So what I want to do is I want to actually we beat the rest of his team with Pidgeot out anyway. So I'm gonna quiver dance here in case he goes for sucker punch. And he does. And I'm gonna suck, and I'm gonna quiver dance again. Really, he can just keep spamming, um, sucker punch. And now, and now I'm going to go. Giga Drain should knock him out, actually. Yeah, Giga Drain knocks out Absol, and I think at this point we win. Yep. <coughs> Not bad at all. Um, another game in the books. Let's go ahead and get another battle. We're getting battles quick today. Um, this is a very interesting team. He's got a Mega Camera up to plus a superior. Um, really, his team actually just straight up loses to um, Pidgeot, barring the Keldeo. If we can get up rocks, which we don't really have a reason to, um, we can actually just lead off with Porygon and get a kill, I think. He leaves off Excadrill. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go out to Ferrothorn. I don't expect him to be SD. The way he let off with it makes me think this is a Rocks variant. And at least we can get a Spike. Spike will help us against Superior and Keldeo. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to hit him with the, with the timer. What time are we at? We're at 19 minutes. That's not bad. Um... Yeah, so we're going to try and do that. He goes straight for an Earthquake. Unfortunately, he gets a crit. Um, I believe we can live and we can fire off a Power Rep. So, he could go out to his uh, camera up here. 
Yeah, that did a lot, actually. Yeah, we do live, and we connect on the power rip, so we get over half on him, and I believe he probably will just go for Earthquake again, so we can go out to our Landris and get our Rock. Uh, we break a potential Sash on Gengar, or... Yeah, I think we're just going to go for that. He can spin, and I guess he could pull the switch into Keldeo. Probably not the better play, but uh, we do have a counter in the Tenor Cruel, so we can go out to that. Like I said, that uh, that Rock will help us. He's probably Default Glotty, as it's the only thing on his team that can get rid of Hazards. And if we Mega up, if he... I guess if he locks himself into... Well, first off, we gotta see what he is. Because if he locks himself into Secret Sword, I can go into... Uh, he locks himself into Icy Wind, okay. Uh, he has no real Skull switch in. So I'm gonna go for the Toxic. As he goes into... He goes into Superior, and thankfully we do hit. Now we should be able to take... Uh, Uh, I think the play here is to sack Varathorn and then go into, um, yes, he's going to Leaf Storm. And what we can do here is he ends up being a Life Orb too, which is even better. Um, I'm just going to try and get up a Spike. As he goes Race Fire, that's fine. Um, and here I'm going to go out to, I'm going to go out to Porygon and I'm going to click, I can actually just click Try Attack. As we will be able to knock out Superior, that's fine. Uh, if Keldeo wants to come in, that means it's Scarfed. Uh, he couldn't bring in Gengar here, which he is going to do. And I think I'm just going to go out to Tentacruel. He ends up being the sub variant, but luckily I can hit Scald. And he shouldn't have anything to hurt me, so... Shadow Ball doesn't do a whole lot, and we get don't get the special defense drop, so... Uh, he is faster, which he obviously is. But I can just continue to click Scald. He ends up as sub disable, so that's bad, kinda. Um, we're in a pickle. I think what we have to do is we have to click. We have to click Dark Balls, and we have to... Because he won't be able to Focus Blast us, which is nice. Well, he will be able to, but if he has Sub Disable, he has Shadow Ball, and he probably has Paint Split, so he probably doesn't even have the... There, he does have Focus Blast. But that's fine, because... He shows that he can't actually beat my. He shows that he can't actually beat my Volcarona, um, and if we get to plus two, we definitely outspeed Keldeo. The problem is going to be Lottie, but Lottie will force out Gengar. So and here I'm actually going to go for the Fire Blast now. Uh. Can go out to his Keldeo if he wants to. He actually sacks Gengar. Gengar was a huge threat, especially the set he was. So, if he brings in Keldeo here, he does not. So, I'm actually going to go for Hidden Power Ground on the camera erupt. Uh, if he's smart, he doesn't Mega Evolve, but we'll see what happens. He actually does Mega Evolve, which means that he eats it up. Wow. But we ate this up, and... Because we outspeed Lottie and Keldeo, we can actually just go for it again, I think. Yeah, so we will be able to knock out the Mega Camera up. Um, if Keldeo Scarf, that's kind of a problem, but... He goes to Exit Drill first, which means that he could also be Scarf Drill. The fact that he went to it means that he probably is... 
I should just go fire off fire blast. And he's not, so we do knock it out. He probably just want to bait scarf. And because because he's scarf and I won't be allowed to speed it anyway, he was not expecting Giga Drain. Uh, he specs Keldeo and he doesn't have a scarfer, so that's fine. Now this is Lottie. I, what I will be able to do is I will be able to get off damage with it um, with Fire Blast, and then I will be able to go out to my Pidgeot and win the game more, more than likely, especially since I got that burn. So yeah, that definitely uh, yeah, definitely with game over. All right, what time are we at now? We're at 25 minutes. We can get one more battle. All right, last battle of the day, guys. Uh, we have a rain team with a polyzode, so yeah. Um, nice thing is, we can actually just body his team. <laughs> we can actually just body his team with the Pidgeot, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, Spike would be nice just to weaken the Ferrothorn a little bit, but we can actually just lead off Pidgeot, I think. Unless he is, uh, Actually, you know what? I'm going to lead off with my Porygon. And I'm going to click Try Attack on this Politoed in case. So, yeah, so I click Try Attack on the Politoed. He actually goes for Hypnosis. Um, that's fine because now I can go out to Ferrothorn and start laying up spikes. Uh, he has Hazard Control as Kabutops, but I will be all out to speed that with my Pidgeot, so that's fine. Um, here, he doesn't really have anything. To, yeah, so I just go for Power Whip on the uh, Heracross. Now, I'm expecting him to want to go for the Close Combat right off. So I am going to go out to Landris, and I can Stone Edge him. Uh, should he go for Swords Ace? He actually does. But uh, I know this Calc pretty well, and I can probably just go for a U-Turn. Unfortunately, I outspeed, which is kind of bad. What I can do here is I can go to my Ferrothorn. Um, I could have gone for Stone Edge there, but if he was faster than me... Alright, so he's just going to go down. Um, I do outspeed. I do outspeed with Mega Pidgeot, so... Uh, I am just going to fire off a Hurricane. If he wants to go into Kabutops, that's fine. But he's just going to let Mega Heracross go down, which... Mega Heracross is a threat. I like the Pokemon a lot, so... Should have named him Macklemore. Will do, buddy. Will do, friend. All right, so he goes up to this. Um, I really don't want to take a stone just to that dome, and he's probably just gonna aqua jet me. So tentacles are pretty safe. Uh, he actually stone He stone edges and gets a crit. That's bad. Um, what we need to do here is go out to Landris and get the attack drop. Okay, yeah, that does nothing to defensive Lando, and we can actually just go safe for a nice for a safe earthquake. Um, he probably is just gonna go out. He goes out to Politoed, which is fine, because Politoed will get two shotted by the earthquake. And here, I'm just gonna go for the U-turn, predicting his Landris to come in. Um, he actually goes to this, so that's kind of bad. Um, I believe I can sack off my... I believe I can sack off my Tentacruel and just go for a Scald if I want to. So, um... Actually, Toxic is a better, is a better play. He misses Hydro Pump. If I land this Toxic, we're good. And thankfully, I do. So... And we can just Acid Spray here. He misses two Hydro Pumps. I feel bad. I feel really bad. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. I actually... Yeah, I do feel bad about that. That sucks. And now I'm going to Scald, predicting him to... He finally kills me. Um, the good news is... I can actually Sack. Uh, now that... Now that my...
what was I going to say? Actually, I think I just beat his team with... Yeah, we're just going to sack Bullseye, the Sleeping Porygon. Uh, he can one-shot me, but at the same time, like, Landris and Pidgeot just win the game anyway, so... Not Landris, uh, Volcarona and Pidgeot just win the game anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so he's taking quite a bit of time, so I'm going to pause it and... Alright, so I sack my Landris, and then... I miscounted rain. Shit. This is potentially bad. Actually, no, it's not. Sack for Corona. And... I think the fact that we didn't get up stealth procs may actually lost us this game. So we had to pray for a Stone Edge hacks, and uh, we actually got to pray for two days. We had to play that either Stone Edge misses or Aqua Jet doesn't kill. So <laughs> he has a full health lander, so we might actually have lost. Ah, damn, if we had this, damn. Because Ferrothorn's not a problem. It can draw balls, but we should be able to live one and stall it out. Um, Kabutops can die. Landers is going to be the problem. So basically, we're going to have to avoid two Stone Edges, and we're going to have to hope that we one-shot Ferrothorn. He's taking a very long time as a, as a, I was gonna ask, so he just goes out to Kabutops, meaning that it probably can kill me. Um, I'm just going to go for Hurricane here. Unfortunately, hits the Stone Edge, so we are going to lose that last one. But if you guys enjoyed the live, go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and leave a comment, and subscribe if you want to. Anyway, guys, I'm Stab, and I will be back later with some more exciting Pokemon content. I will see you guys. Goodbye.